Let me show you how I created these beautiful set of slides which showcase different residential buildings in the world, their height and some details. We have done this using Morph Transition in PowerPoint. It's a very simple technique. I'll show you how to do this from scratch. I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. If you want to discover 25 creative presentation ideas to make your next presentation visually engaging, then please join this 5-day free email course by clicking on the link in the description box below. The first thing you require to create this effect to showcase four different items is four items of the same height. Since we are going to mount each of these objects on the four edges of a square and apply a spin, the effect would be quite smooth if the heights are more or less the same. Now, if the objects are of not the same height, naturally when you mount them on a square and spin them, then there will be a wobbling effect and the effect will not be very smooth. So we need to make them of the same height. So how do we do that? You just draw a simple rectangle by going to the rectangle shapes and then you go here and cover the entire object. Right click and send this to back. Make sure that the heights of the objects match. When I click on this, go to graphics format, you can see that the height is 16.03. So make sure that from the bottom till the top, the height is exactly 16.03. And once it is done, of course, you can always go to shape outline, no outline and have this with white color. Since you've got it at the background, you can select that and select this and press control G. Now you have this object of the same height as the previous ones. So whichever way you do it, make sure that the objects are of the same height. So that is the first condition. I'm going to delete this. The next thing you do is to create a new slide, draw a square. I'm going to fill this with black color and no outline. Let us zoom out quite a bit like this. This is very important so it is easier for us to mount these objects on the four edges. Let us go to the first object, press Ctrl C to copy and then press Ctrl V to paste it and then place it on the square like so. Make sure that it is in the center. Then let us select the second one, press Ctrl C and control V. Now this has to be on the right hand side. So I'm going to rotate this by right 90 degrees and I'm going to place this over here. You can always find that in arrange, rotate and you can see rotate right 90 degrees. So you can choose that and you can place the second one like this. Then let us place the third one, control C, control V. You can flip this vertically and then place it to align with the center point of the square. Then the last one, Control C, Control V, and this time I'm going to rotate this to the left and then place it to align with the center point of the edges. Now once it is done, you select everything and press Control G. Now what we have got is a square. When I go to graphics format, you can see that the height and the width are exactly the same. Now when I have something like this available, I can place it over here so it aligns with the bottom edge of my slide and I can write my explanation here. Let me zoom in by using this option here called fit slide to current window and I can write my explanation. I am going to say explanation for the first building. Whenever you write something like this, make sure that it is of a real large font. I'm going to use a thicker font and use it really big so it almost looks like the title here. Of course, you can add all kinds of embellishments like you can have your slide title here. You can change the background color by right clicking and using format background option and choose a gradient fill. You can go to preset gradient and use one of the preset gradients like this. So we've got our first slide in place, then right click duplicate the slide, apply morph transition. That is the first thing we are going to do. And here we are going to change the background by right clicking and using the format background option. And this time the preset gradient is going to be the purple color. And this will be our second building. So how are we going to showcase the second building? Naturally by zooming out, by clicking on the group and then using this rotate to left 90 degrees option. You can of course find that in arrange, rotate and rotate left 90 degrees. So that is what we have done here. Then right click, duplicate slide. Once again, you know the drill, you select the group, rotate left 90 degrees once again. So we have another building here. And this time we are going to change this to the third building. And to visually distinguish this from the previous slide, we are going to change the preset to something like this. And then duplicate the slide and select the group, rotate left 90 degrees, 
and then change this to the fourth building and change the background to something like this job done when i go to slideshow when i go to the first one i talk about the first building then i talk about the second building and then i talk about the third one and then i talk about the fourth one if you are a professional who needs to make presentations as part of your business you can join our program called ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program this program is a collection of 42 courses each course specializes in a specific skill you can click on the link in the description box below the video, come to this page, watch this video and get to know all about this program and how it can change the way you create your presentations. If you want to learn more ideas to use Morph tool to create some beautiful presentations, then I have a playlist just for you. I will link the first video in the playlist right now on your screen. You can click on the link and watch those videos one after another and you can see that your Morph transition skills improve as you move through each of the videos. I'll see you inside those videos next.